Hello everyone, welcome back to Loyalty's channel. Today we are talking about bigamy and then we are also going to talk about circumstances under which someone can stop another person from getting married. If you are a pastor, a marriage officer, um, someone who performs marriages and with the knowledge that someone is committing bigamy, if you also go through a marriage ceremony with this person, is that a crime? And then what defense would you have in law if you are charged with bigamy? That's what we are going to talk about today. So let's get straight to the point. The, the first thing is that if you want to marry more than one wife in Ghana, there is a way you can do it. You can do it by just marrying the person under custom. That's what we wrongly call the engagement. Or under Islamic law. And so if you marry someone under custom, then you are permitted to marry one other person under custom. Marry all these people under custom. If you do not marry all these people under custom, then you may also be at fault. Now, the law in section 262 and 263 of the Criminal Offenses Act, Act 29, says that if you commit bigamy, you've committed misdemeanor, and then you can be punished to up to three years imprisonment. Now, how do we know that you have committed bigamy? Bigamy simply means you've married more than one wife in, in a way that is not permitted under the laws of Ghana. Or you have married more than one husband in a way that is not permitted under the laws of Ghana. And so the, the Act 29 gives description of what we can look at and say you have committed bigamy. So if you marry someone under custom, that is the traditional marriage, and then you marry the second person under monogamous marriage or ordinance marriage. Because you have married the second person under ordinance marriage, the law says you have committed bigamy. And you are liable to up to three years imprisonment. The same way if you marry someone under Islamic law, or the Islam kind of marriage, and then you marry a second person under ordinance, register it in court or the assembly or a church wedding, you have committed bigamy and the law says that you have to be punished from zero, one year, two year fine or up to three years in prison. So take note. The same way if you marry someone under ordinance marriage, then you with, without divorcing the first one, you go to the second person and marry the person under traditional marriage. Please, that is also bigamy and the law will deal with you. If you knew, if you are the woman or you, the man, and you knew that oh, the second marriage or the first marriage was in existence, and you still went ahead to marry the person under ordinance or under the circumstances that we have talked about, the law will punish you square. Unless you can show us that you did not know at all. Now, if you can also show us that, oh, you have actually married someone in the first place, but then... This person, for the last seven years, you have not heard from the person. For the last seven years, you have no way of communicating with the person and you have no means of finding out where the person is. The law can excuse you because it is more than seven years and you have no way of contacting the other person or you have no way of knowing the whereabouts of the other person. And before you married this second person, you told them that, you know what, this is my issue. I have this marriage there that I actually don't know where the other person is. And so please understand me. Will you understand? The person truly understood before you got married. If you don't do all of this, you have committed bigger. Now, the second point is where you are a pastor or a marriage officer or someone who is able to perform a marriage ceremony, whether it was your penny performing a traditional marriage or what have you. And you know very well that there's an old marriage there. And the law does not permit this person to marry a second person in that particular way that you're going to do it. The law says you too, you have committed an offense and you should be punished the same way up to three years imprisonment. Please take note that we don't actually care if you marry the first person in Ghana and the second person abroad and you think that we would not know. No, one day you come down here in Ghana and there will be information to prove that you have committed a crime. Crime does not expire in Ghana. Even if it is 40 years, we can come after you. And so please do not 
marry someone in Ghana and pretend that you don't care, leave the person in Ghana and go out of the country and marry under ordinance in abroad and live your life like nothing is happening. One day, something will happen to you under the laws of time. Take note that if you marry all the women under Islamic law or Katami law, then you are free. There is no nothing like bigamy. And so if you have intentions of marrying more than two wives, please use the Katami law approach. Don't go and mix mix one Katami law, one ordinance. No, the law will not be happy with you. That will be a crime. So take note of that. Now, somebody will ask, where do I find all of these laws? Please check um, the Criminal Offenses Act at 29. It's online. Check section 262, 263, 269, even 265 of Act 29. All that area concerning bigamy. I know you have questions. Let me know what your questions are. I will answer them accordingly. Until we meet again, please take good care of yourself and have a very, very good time. Bye.